welcome back, another episode. Note, there are spoilers for 911 Season 8, Episode 4 in this narrative. With its most recent episode, 911 covered a season's worth of drama, with some significant scenes driven by the bubbling desperation of adored fireman Henrietta Hen Wilson. The storylines of the ABC First Responder Drama's Season 7 finale, which was overshadowed by the highly anticipated Season 8 premiere B. Notto, Plain Emergency, were picked up in Episode 4, No Place Like Home. It followed Hen's custody battle for foster daughter Mara and the 118 being led by Captain Vincent Jared after Bobby unintentionally quit. In order to regain custody of Mara from Maddie and Chim, Hen and her wife Karen went to court. Hen and Bobby were able to recruit Jared and get the politician to confess her wrongdoings on camera, which caused Ortiz to withdraw from the mayoral race and cease to be a threat, despite the fact that it appeared she was going to get her way and keep the family apart while also trying to shut down the 118 completely. In the end, everyone benefited when Bobby was given back his position as the 118's captain and Jared replaced him as a fireman consultant on the made-up firefighter show on 911. Hen is experiencing more stress as a result of all of this, and she is sharing that with Karen. We are actually sitting in these genuine emotions that are at odds with one another. And when we eventually get back together as a family at the end of this adventure in episode 4, it feels like a breath of fresh air. However, I believe that the Wilsons are simply thrilled to be reunited and to have this family unit together, and they are valuing one another for as long as they can. I hope that everything will go smoothly in the future and that there are only minor family problems. They are simply embracing one another, appreciating the present, and being thankful for it at the moment. Behinds what I'm saying is this. I don't understand. Are they aware of our cast members? Tom's, Tracy Lee. It doesn't even have to be a full-fledged musical episode, I've been rambling on about it. To me, that is such a blind spot, so we simply need Tracy Toms to give us what she has. This is a lost chance. Toms, that's what always says. It's okay that Karen isn't a singer. With the karaoke episode, they teased us. How come we have a karaoke session but left before we could start? Hints, before she was a rocket scientist, we needed a Karen Begins episode. For more videos, subscribe.